cursor. Is it, yeah. is it okay with the cursor on this? Oh, oh, okay. Did it again. Sorry. What's up, Collider fans? Uh, Josh McCuga here with Doug Neighbors of Fun Train. They developed the Exorcist VR. They created You did the whole thing. Yep, with Wolf & Wood, a with, developer in the UK. There you go. Uh, so they are responsible for my, my nightmares after chapters one and two. Uh, and for, I mean, sc scaring the living crap out of me. For uh, it, it, Whether during the game or afterwards, do you have a twisted mind? What's the deal here? I mean, it's all the Exorcist. I mean, really, the, the franchise, it's doing all the work. You're, uh -huh. just, uh, you're just along for the ride. Ah. Yes, well, thank you so much, Doug. Now, yep. Doug, what, what's going to happen today, instead of Christian Harloff, Doug is going to walk me through Chapter 3. He may have some insider information. He's also never been here live to see me lose my mind. Uh, and I'm going to try and actually interview him while I'm going through. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but as of right now, are you ready to get this started? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right. Oh, man. It's this music. Couldn't you, you guys have done, like, Journey Live in Houston or something? <laughs> Who did the music? That's Wolf and Wood. Oh, they did the music? Doug, you seem like a nice guy, but I don't know about these guys. Yeah, they're sinister. They're sinister. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Whew. Okay, one gets me every time. So do you get scared of stuff, Doug? There are a few moments in this that I st still get scared of. Oh, God. Um, especially in Chapter 3, there's a, there's a particular moment. I won't, I'm not going to spoil it. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Now, do you, do you show this game to some of your friends just to scare the crap out of them, or...? Um, believe it or not, my, all my friends are still uh, are late to the VR game so far, uh -huh. so it's, you know, I think everybody's picking it up, finding it for themselves, and uh, I wish I had more friends to share it with, honestly. This kind of, sounds kind of sad. Well, I'd like to think that outside of this, we could be friends. We right could, now, Josh. You are not my friends. Skin deep. Yep. Oh, man. Wait a second. There's a baby? What is that? That's Am I gonna be playing? Is there a baby that's gonna attack me? <laughs> All right, I need a second. Okay, uh, we just got to launch, right? <laughs> Hello? Jerry? <laughs> do I use which door? Do I go to? Do I, does this door do anything? Oh wait. Okay. Do I do any of this? <laughs> I think that was a it was a wind. That was wind. Wind scares me. Anybody else? Doug, you a big fan of wind? <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing scary in this. This is what we call the setup. This so there's the, nothing scary yet. This is the setup room so far. So you're doing you're doing okay. This is. <laughs> it sets the scene. Let me tell you a little something about the setup room, Doug. It's still scary. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Doug, it's real dark! Yeah. <laughs> what is in here? It's a baby! What do I need? What do I need? Give me some! Doug, you're, Doug? You're fine. Is there a baby in there? Oh, it's a doll. I always think something's coming behind me, am I right? Believe it or not, it's supposed to be a real baby. This was one of the hardest parts of this entire game was getting this, getting, getting baby. a baby that looked. So it's a breathing baby. It's a baby. Well, now it's looking like a baby because it's breathing. Yeah. Ah! yeah, he's moving. I just heard something. Doug, should I just close this door all together? Oh, there's more doors? Yeah. Doug! Yeah. There's something behind that door. This is just the exploration. <laughs> <laughs> Who hangs their baby's clothes like this? What family? Oh, it's, oh, it's a dollhouse? Nothing good ever happens in a dollhouse, Doug. <sighs> All right, there's nothing in here, I don't think. Oh, there's boxes are gonna start flying. <laughs> what is going on, Doug? You're no out, Doug. <laughs> so what what you're doing is you're finding these little story these little story clues that obviously you're hearing the sound okay. whenever you're seeing the right thing. You're sort of we're putting together building a mosaic of this uh, story that will pay off here very soon. So what? Because she's like, was she like a fashion model? Yep. Oh, nothing good ever happens to models when they have kids. 
they they just get like their kids all probably end up killing them somewhere down the line. I don't know. I'm making up a story because this is scary, dog. Okay. Doors are the scariest part of any of these games. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's nothing in there yet. There's blood or Perfect. something. No, it's just dirty. There's a pregnancy test. Right. So if you pick that up. Oh, I got to pick it up? Yeah, with your other hand. So excited. What is it? You, you should have heard these like voices yeah. drifting in and out. Right. Okay, oh, no. good. Oh, and by the way, the lamp goes out if you keep it burning too long. So it, got, it has to recharge. Doug, that seems like a really bad thing in gameplay. I'm not going <laughs> to yeah. lie. Because well, we <laughs> I need unlimited lamp. Uh, you, can, you don't want to say, here's an Easter egg. You can actually see the developer's uh, face in the, in the medicine cabinet. If you uh, open the medicine cabinet, there's a... Uh, are you, this, are you fucking with me, Doug? No, I promise you, there's, this, is, this is not a scare. <laughs> oh, that's the developer? That's our lead developer right there. Yeah. He put himself on the lotion bottle. Skin I deep. thought that was really... I, see, now it's all coming back to me. Oh, okay. God. It's full circle. There was that lip... <laughs> Doug, Doug, Doug! <laughs> yeah? Yes? Now what, Doug? I'm getting okay. chills, Doug. All Doug? Right. You can go check out the dollhouse again. Oh shit! There's a light in it now. Yeah. Now shine your shine your uh, your special bees oil lamp in there. I don't want to do it. Sort that. of shows things that you can't see with the normal eye. Okay. There's a lot of creaks and cracks, Doug. Yeah. It's, it's creaky. <sighs> oh, there you go. Do you see what see what, what do you see there's there? There's a pill bottle. So pick it up. Oh wait. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> Oh god. There's a body right there! Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that one. Oh god. Do I get a lamp or anything? <laughs> oh shit, I gotta get the cross dog! Where's the baby? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh my god, there's a thing right there! It's by the ditch there! I see you in the rocket chair! No, dog! Dog, it's a oh. giant slender man thing! <laughs> yeah. It's a giant skinny man! Oh, she went in the closet. A slender woman, by the it's way. It's a slender woman! Yeah, I, is it the model? Is it the model? <laughs> What is this? What is going there you on go. here? Doug? No, There's I'll, a glass on the floor. Yeah, the light bulb went blue. So I'll, I'll give you a hint here. To, to This is a... Run? No, not yet. What do you see behind the uh, those, clo those clothes? Do you see that light coming through the floor? Oh, uh, yeah, shoot. What is that? So pu push the clothes aside the other way. Oh, go the other way. way. Yeah. And do you see that little, that little piece oh, okay. of... Uh, kind of stuck there? <laughs> Uh, it's just a sewing room. Yeah. Model Mara Maria Body Shame. Oh no. Yeah. It's kind of sad. Oh my. So she got pregnant, but she didn't want. Is what? it this mannequin? Well, nothing good ever comes out of a mannequin. So use your light again. So I'm going to shine it, and something's going to be weird over there. No, there's nothing there. You're lying to me. <laughs> I can tell by the way you're talking. Go walk over there towards this door. <laughs> it's fine. Walk up to it. You'll find nothing happens. Doug, I'm just here. I'm hearing voices, Doug. Well, look at the picture. Oh my God, it's Craig! Don't let him in. Doug, there's worse things coming out of him. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So just get a little backstory here, like the demons been talking to her. Josh got so scared we had to quit for a bit. <laughs> Don't, don't tell them that. Time. Now I gotta go. Yeah, and open now go into the bathroom. There you go. Oh God. Uh, 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 it locked behind me. <laughs> Something's gonna happen out of this water, isn't it, Doug? There's <laughs> blood. Oh God, there's blood and there's something happening. Oh God. <laughs> and what's that? There's wine. What is that? Wine and cigarettes. Yeah. But there's a voice. Now what's that on the, uh, what's that little smoky thing down there? What is that? 
Oh, it's a razor blade. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, no. oh there's wine or something. Oh, the tub's going to blood. Oh, there's a snake in there. Dog. That's fine. It's a ghost snake. You're it's fine. a ghost snake? Yeah, it's, you're fine. It's a ghost snake. Go. You're good to go. You sure about that? Yeah, there's nothing out there. You're, you're lying. I, you are a terrible liar. This is Slender Thing! Uh, what? Uh, what is it, Doug? 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 Yeah. Doug? Doug? Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't know what he wanted to say. Oh, God. What's happening? Okay, this is oh, God. It's really scary. There you go. Perfect. Hope you're a lefty. Well, now I am. Well, now where am I, Doug? Oh. Oh, there you go. There. Doug. Oh, what is there? There's the baby. Doug, it's a fake baby, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a doll. Get out of here! Get out the demon! <laughs> How did those get there? I don't know. Did you put them there? You and the wolf people. <laughs> Do I just keep holding that crossbow? Oh, just poke around. Poke around what? No, no, no. Keep it PG. I know PG. <laughs> be, be careful up there. Okay, you're good. Oh, oh. what is that? What is that? <laughs> it's a funny baby in the ceiling, dog. <laughs> There you go, perfect. There's that snake, Doug. There's another one, yeah. She likes snakes. Appar oh my god, now there's a cross on the wall. There you go. Doug? Yes. Doug? Yes. Doug. There's more babies. Oh, oh. oh god, there's a snake on the baby. <laughs> Get this snake. There, good job. Don't shoot it? Yeah. Yeah! Oh, get it out, snake! Perfect. You did it. Congrats. Did I beat it? Yeah, I think you did. Oh, what's that? No, you oh, lied boy. to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Don't let, the, don't let the snakes get the baby. Uh, good. Now, now get the demon right in the mirror. Perfect. Hold it. Hold it steady. Shine the light. Oh, that was the wire. <laughs> did I do it? You did it. Congrats. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. See, not 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 close to. No, I'm serious. All right. I mean, uh, yeah, it was good. It was good, really good. That was good. Of the three that I've played thus far, yes. the the scariest moment of the three games is when that tall, slender demon gets up out of the rocking chair and goes into that closet yeah. for sure. That is 100% the scariest thing that I've seen thus far. Also, a running baby and all those mannequins freaked the hell out of me. So you did, you did your job again. Good. When you were designing, when you were talking about these levels and you were talking about all this stuff, what was, like, did you want one major scare in each one or did you want the whole thing to just literally destroy me? No, no. Weekend. Well, we, we, wanted the, we want there to be a few key scares. Like right. one of them is the baby on the ceiling. Another right. one in that chapter is that thing in the doorway that you yes. see just briefly, which all, it gives me the chills even now. Yeah. But we, we, we knew we want to have a couple key scares that we hit along the way, but uh -huh. really it's about a sense of tonal, like a sense of dread that slowly builds over time that yeah. crescendos at the end. So each of these chapters has a setup. Okay. Like an intro, right. and then an exploration section right. where you're kind of getting all the pieces of the puzzle that you're going to play with. Right. And the third act basically is putting it all together, which is like what you did. Yeah. This is a more chapter three is a more story driven chapter than we sure. than our other ones in that it's well, more of like a backstory that you're putting together about right. this wife. And this one is a demon baby. Yeah. Well, it's a baizu, which is actually is a is a um, also old baizu. Uh, well, yeah. Well, um, uh, also called Lilith. Okay. In, in Hebrew, but the, this is a ba it's a it's a child stealing demon. So okay. it steals people's, it kills the babies, takes the baby's souls, etc. And so that's what you just faced a version of that. And were you, <laughs> were you always like this interested in this? In I got you know, 
We did a lot of research. <laughs> we did a lot of research. Well, you did enough research to yeah. still scare me. Uh, so I've got four and five to go, but I, I need to take a breather. Yeah, let's take a breather. We'll come back. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Doug Neighbors. Thank <laughs> you.